So how do you write a technical book? Let's talk about it. Hey developers, this is Eric. I do videos on programming and tutorials and I give advice. And today we're gonna talk about technical books. If you don't know, I actually have been writing a book on Vue.js and I have been getting a lot of different questions on it. So I thought I'd go ahead and answer a few of them here and talk to you a little bit about how you create a technical book. So first off, there's a couple ways to create technical books. You can certainly create a self-published book where you go in and you create everything yourself or you can go with a traditional publisher. Now, in my instance, you can see right here from my book, this is a traditionally published book. It's called Vue.js in action and I'm having it published by Manning. So this is how I have done it. Now I have broken it up into 15 different chapters and each chapter I have a different topic and then inside that topic I have a lot of things inside each, each topic. And I have an overall theme. I'm actually creating a program a Vue.js app, I'm adding to it on, in every chapter. Although we'll see somewhere in the middle, we might change the app itself. So that is kind of a little bit about how I did it. So I get a couple of questions people have asked me on this topic. Um, so what's it like writing a book? And so a, definitely a technical book is one of the more difficult books to write. I mean, nothing against write, uh, fiction writers or people writing um, different types of books like that, but it's it's a lot of writing code, taking that code and making it in a very readable format so people can understand it. It's about putting in examples, it's using real world examples, it's trying to make the abstract concrete. So the writing process that I have is a lot of, of revisions and edits and just writing what I can, putting it out there and then seeing what worked, what didn't work. And one nice thing about Manning is they have this early access program. So every book that I write, every chapter I write, I get to be able to put it up online. People can read it. I'm going to try to about once a month, put new updates for each chapters. And that way I can get immediate feedback. So if I make a mistake or there's a problem, I'm always going to have that um, feedback loop to make the book even better. So that's really, really cool. So I'm not going to get into any of the technical details on like what software I use or or how to create a technical book. This is just kind of a couple of basic ideas of what a technical book's about and how I'm going at it. So how long does it take to write a book? So that is a question that I've gotten a few times. It's a lot of work. Uh, I do have another author, Benjamin Listwan, but he has uh, just started the book off. I'm actually writing all the other chapters. He's written a couple of chapters. So the book is going to take from now uh, till the end of December just to get the first draft out. And that's if everything goes perfectly great, perfectly fine. I have four chapters done. The book is going to be updated monthly on Manning's website. But if all goes well, by the end of this year, I'll have all the chapters written. And then we're going to go through a process where we're going to do some more final edits and changes. So, I mean, we're really talking about a couple months into 2018 before the book will be out. And that's if everything goes perfectly fine and great. Now, if I get behind a chapter or there's a problem, then it might take even longer. So how many chapters are available? I have, that's another question I've gotten. There's three chapters available right now. There's actually a fourth chapter that I have done that hopefully it'll be up soon on the Meep and we'll have any other fixes. Uh, one other question you sometimes get is uh, what's kind of my process in writing? So I have a process where I try to write at nights and then occasionally I'll take uh, I'll take a full eight hours and I'll just write all day. So that's kind of my process. Now, creating a book is a tremendous amount of work. Uh, it's 
uh, I guess any type of book that you really write, it's going to be a tremendous amount of work. And it doesn't, uh, you know, it's not going to make me rich either. So this is kind of more of a labor of love. Uh, I do it because I love Vue.js. I'm trying to learn more and more and more about it, become an expert. I'm trying to get my name out there. And uh, so it's going to take hundreds of hours to write, literally. And it's something that, that I, I like the challenge. So my first book, the Ember.js Cookbook, was kind of like that. It took a ton of time to write, and I just put myself out there. Uh, I just worked on it every day, and then I put put myself out there when I released it, and it, it went really well. And I'm hoping the same thing happens with this Vue.js in action. So I'm going to be plugging away at it uh, every day, almost, just trying to make progress on it. And there'll be some days that will go well, and some days that won't go well. So that is a little bit about my technical writing. Um, like I said, it's not going to make me rich, but it, I, I believe it'll get my name out there a little bit more, and it's it's a challenge that I'm up for, and I want to 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 get out there, and, and I want to do well. And and nice thing about it is that I want a really high-quality product, so I'm going to have lots of feedback, and I'm going to take every feedback I get to make even a better book, which is awesome, which I'm really excited about. If you went the self-publishing route, that's another way of, of making money online with a book. It's You're going to have to really work hard to get the, 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 the type of quality you can get with a published book because you don't have a publisher. You're going to have to maybe hire somebody or just be really good at, at uh, working hard on your book. You can make more money, though, in the end, especially if you have a really popular self-published book. You can make thousands of dollars. Um, and you can sustain that for a long period of time. The way the publishing world works is you get advances and you get royalties. And for a technical book, it's not a ton of money. But I don't want to get into details of that. That's all confidential. If you like these types of videos, uh, let me know below. And also, if you can, check out the book. Uh, I have a mailing list I'll put in the description. I'm going to people, update people as I get farther along and also going to give people up uh, discount codes for my book so you can get it even cheaper. Thank you. Take care.